negra de abajo me dice, no, no, move your car. No, today no move your car. Today is free. Ok, le dije, ¿tú? Yes. Ay, le hice. De ti vi. Just gonna be myself real quick. If anyone's watching, uh, please type in the live stream chat to see if anyone's actually here or if it's just me watching myself. I'm currently trying to share the, the link to the live stream. Yeah, okay, that's what that. It's hard to mute, so for a bit. Chicken with chat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there is someone here. Okay, Professor. Uh, you're not receiving the video. Oh crap! I'm not receiving video. Oh, is that what it means? Ah, uh, probably is. All right. All right. All right. I think I'm ready now. So I'm just gonna load up the image. I'm gonna give it to this. Where is it? Where is it? Remove the image. 
All right, let's begin. Yeah, I'm just extracting. So I'm just gonna refer to our uh, what's it called. And I typed in the wrong thing. Alright, so while it's extracting, it should be about like mm, a couple of cool minutes. Alright, so first we're going to do is the Windows image. The Linux image, I'll begin in an hour. An hour. Yeah, I guess like an hour ish. Because I believe it shouldn't be too much. Let's see, just. Um, and some no, it shouldn't. Just the explaining part it takes a while, but everything else, it should be pretty. Like maybe doing it is probably like half an hour, forty minutes maximum. Explaining it takes a bit. <laughs> explaining it is a is a bit extra, uh, longer, but it's fine. I don't mind. That is the whole point of the live stream, anyways. Let me go look. Let me look through my phone. Let's see if everything's fine from here. <laughs> there is some latency, I see, because when I'm watching the live stream and I'm looking at what's happening live, it's, it's, there is some latency, so it's a bit lag. So, uh, or do I really have the image? Let's check right now. But, nah, either way, I need to start a very free fresh. I installed the Linux one already. Just this one, it's taking a little bit longer. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. But I guess I might as well not waste time on it right now. So, um. I'm gonna get, my, I'm gonna get some resources. So my flashlight has a, like, some checklists I'll provide. Be back. Also, uh, let me just mute it so you don't hear any background noise. I'm back. Okay, I got my flash drive hidden behind the game. So I'm gonna go over I believe some some checklists for Windows. Uh, how how much longer do I have? What? What's taking so long, bruh? How many gigs is it? It's just like ten. Oh Jesus Christ! Guys, let me make some space. Um. Um, what should I remove? I should remove you. No, you might become useful. Um, I guess I remove you. 
delete. Da, 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 da. Alright. So I hope you guys stayed so, so far. Hope you guys have been doing well with review. Uh, I haven't because I have a lot of late work to do. And I have this. And I have, um... Side Patriots word and stuff like that. All right, so you know, let's go real quick to my little Side Patriot flashlight with you know, definitely doesn't have like a year's worth of content images. Uh, let's see, for all those captains, windows. Uh, here we go. I think this one. Here we go. Please don't like. I hope my computer doesn't die. I really hope my computer doesn't die. Oh, yes, replace the files. Replace them. <laughs> open this. Okay, I have that open. I kind of feel like just leaving a <laughs> just a re zero picture, <laughs> but obviously I can't. Oh, I should have this pic. Should I? Yeah, I should definitely do that real quick. Oh, that's extracting. Um, so uh, Linux people, if you're a Linux person and you're you're here, uh, and you still got interested in Windows, that's perfectly fine. The same kind of concepts are for Linux anyways. So I guess it's good to know both, in general for a career and you know competition. Let's see. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna create a, I'm just gonna put a every easier picture if I have one, please. Please, plus, um, there you go, I, I picked you, dun, 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 dun. oh Jesus Christ, pick, okay, I didn't expect it to take so long. That's what I get for not realizing how uh, long things sometimes set. So that's my bad, guys. Uh, I would I should have already been on this image. I just I just I had it downloaded, but I didn't think extracting would be taking so long. All right, so let's go over this really quickly. Uh, a Windows checklist I have here. I guess I'm gonna go in chat right now. Oh god, what's happening in chat? Alright, we have... Damn, you're live streaming now. I've been here since day... <laughs> what? Because I'm on my phone as well, looking at the chat, because it's easier. Okay. Victor Garcia, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, he said I understand. Alright, so anyway, let's just begin right now. So, <clears throat> Windows checklist. So at least the one for type hatred seems to be here. So uh, user uh, or account policies. Let's start with account policies. That's where it begins with. Uh, so to go to to rec uh, to the settings for account policies, it's gonna be uh, right click the start button, go to the account computer management groups, right click groups, and then that's where you can change group group properties. So I guess that's where it begins. So Right click, computer management. Come on, don't be shy. Sh come on. Give me, give me, give me computer management. You know, let's not make, let's make it less boring. I have an idea to make it less boring real quick. Um, I can, I, can, I can make it at least a little bit, bit a bit less silent when I'm not talking. Just really quickly. That's not what I want. Not subscriptions. So play playlists. There we go. How is this? Shit. I have to call it. 
Nah, never mind. I'm just trying new stuff out because I really want live streams to become like really cool. <laughs> it's also weird seeing myself in the past be going. Because again, in my head. So, okay, anyways, <clears throat> back to the checklist. So, computer management and to modify groups should be around here. No. Computer management groups, right click groups. Okay, I guess it means local users and groups, and then groups. So, uh, I guess, again, in my opinion, checklists are all different because it depends on how the person doing the image, how what they feel more comfortable doing first and then last, and all that. So, I guess for me, the checklist refers to doing groups first. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking at myself in the, like, a few minutes before, and I'm, I'm listening to when I put music on, so, that's cool. Alright, so anyways, so groups, so why would you modify groups? Uh, it's because here you can modify specifically admins, so who decides to be an admin? So, for example, my computer, I only have two admins, me and the default administrator. Uh, you can see stuff in here, like, remote, you just have user, so, like, if there's a critical services, if there's a critical service that remote desktop for Windows, and they tell you, oh, they want, let's say, the user John to be a remote desktop user. So you would put him here to get points. Or the opposite. If it isn't, there's no critical service for Windows remote desktop, you make sure there's no users here. Uh, same thing. Uh, so let's see. Members of the group can access resources over management pro. Okay, so remote desktop as well. And so on. And normal users as well. No. This is user permission for making sense. I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, and then there's uh, more advanced stuff, but and then there's guests here as well. So there's, uh, if you didn't know, there's also there's a group specifically made only for the guest or you know people who have guest act permissions. And it tells you here, so get group by default except uh, for the guest account, which is further restricted. Okay. So anyways, uh, if you were to want to check the groups, this is where you want, and then if you want to remove it, you just right click and then delete, or go into the properties and then. Either click on their name and then delete, or just click add to add a new user. And then you just type in their username, so like, you know, like John. And it will check if it exists. It obviously doesn't exist. That's why it's telling me, oh, make sure you type it right. And if it, did, and then it, if it does exist, it will just, you just press OK and you will add the user. And then apply. Next one on the checklist. Uh, oh, it finally should connect it. Good, good, good. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. Alright, let's start now we can finally begin this image. Wow. So a heads up, this is a win this is a Windows 7 image. Yes, I know we are competing in Windows 10. However, the same uh vulnerabilities are in the machine are the same on the on the images. So where is it? This one. Yeah there we go. Uh this one, I think. Hopefully this is the right one. So yeah, uh, either even though it's you know it's, it's an old OS, we don't do Patreon images on Windows. What's it called? Windows uh, seven. So again, it doesn't matter because same vulnerabilities, and it's nice to go over them. And it's one of my favorite Windows images in 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 general. So we're going over the intermediate one. There's a more advanced one, but I don't have time for that one, so I won't do that. I'm doing that one for the, what's it called? I'm doing that one for the, the YouTube videos. So, you know, might as well go over the one of Liddy's. So let's keep going real quick. I'm gonna skim. I'm just gonna start skimming. So okay, so you can also go through user properties, and this, I guess the next part is when you want to set passwords to each user. Uh, which is a good practice because you want to make sure A, every user has a password, well, because of gas, of course, and then B, make sure those passwords are secure. And then there's some other stuff like disable, make sure you disable, in Windows, you can do a thing known as disabling, which, you know, is kind of the equivalent of removing, except you don't delete them, you just disable them. So, let me just do that real quick. Just computer management.
okay, local you again okay, users, and then you right click on whoever like. Uh, from my computer, I have default account. I don't know what the heck this is, but if you see that downward arrow, I mean it's disabled. And if you go to right click and go to properties, you can click. You can. This is what you would set if the account is disabled or not. And inside of Patreon, if you were to disable account, it should be the equivalent of you removing a user. And I think I understand why this person put do, remove disable do not delete because a you might exit. This is for like, uh, if you accidentally like. Remove a user you're not supposed to, and it does the points. You can just enable it again, or B because it's a forensic question. One of those two things. So yeah, why not? Why not do that if you're a Windows person? And then there's stuff like here, like user cannot change password. Using my change password next login, it's locked out. The password expired and stuff like that. And their name. You can if you go further, you can also check what the groups are in. So this one is in guest. The guest account is in the guest group, and then some extra stuff. And then if you right click on any user, you can also just set a password for them by just clicking right just right click and setting password. And it tells you, oh, you sure you want to reset password, you know, this So user knows password and wants to change it. Really? If you do control delete. Oops, not that one. Yeah, control delete. Oh yeah, there's a way to change password. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I didn't know that. If you do control or delete, you can change your password to there. But, eh, that's how they put in the checklist. I'm not really a Windows person, so I, it might be the correct way. And obviously, if you didn't know, if I haven't at least said that, they always say we'll guess on, on both Linux and Windows, because they don't need to guess, and they're a, a, a vulnerability in itself. Uh... I know this by experience because one time I was told to help, uh, I was told to help someone with their computer because it locked out, and it was a Microsoft account, so that's even worse. So I couldn't just go into the system files and get the password from there. It was a Microsoft account, but then I, but then the only access I had was a guest account. But guess what? To guess, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I did. I used the USB. And I basically what that used to be was I did I, I I loaded up a hacking tool not just like anything you download that's kind of complicated but I made with the USB I made it boot into a new op hacking operating system and with that I was able to change uh, the default admin I was able to enable that and then change the password and then delete the the one with the Microsoft account and I ended up getting administrative access through guest account so that's why you want <laughs> to remove guests because you know people are smart and. They could. That is possible. That is the, that is the possibility of cyber of hacking, I'm pen testing, and hacking, and that's why cybersecurity exists. All right, so let's begin. So instructions. I'm gonna check the chat. They're all speaking in Japanese as usual. <laughs> yeah. See, like, what's up, guys? Why? Why the Japanese? Why? <laughs> I can't. I can't translate in time. All right, so let's let's just go straight into it. So instructions. So make sure you remember this. So again, another another heads up. This is an old image, so that's why it's a bit old style. So IT staff, comma, please remove media files from the system as it is a work only PC. Please allow. However, please allow remote connections with the high security due to the breach. So I guess there's some breach. Remove any malicious files. Please disable users Allison and George. They will no longer be using this computer. Change their password to Cyber Patriot, so I guess I'll keep that in mind. For security reasons, uh, add them to the users group. So I'm, I'm guessing they're, these are also admins, so remove them. Or no. Yeah, remove them from just users. Disable any suspicious accounts on the system and add those suspicious, suspicious accounts to the guest group. Okay, so cool. I guess that's what also I I saw earlier because it was it was a guest group and that guest group I'm I'm guessing now is whoever's in there has guest like privileges so it, it kind of you know doesn't let them download anything just lets them only just view the internet and all that and use some applications okay that's an interesting way of getting rid of suspicious accounts. All right, so let me just full screen this might as well. 
Alright, cool. So, oh god, it's a bit slow. Anyways, so, obviously not really every official like site page one that give us the users and critical services. And then we have our scrum report right here. Good old scrum report. With Internet Explorer, yeah, pretty old. So we have 22 vulnerabilities in the machine, not bad. I mean, this is, I believe this is, uh, is this the right image? 22, 22 volumes, right? That's correct, right? 22, right? No, no, look, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block my screen real quickly so you don't see the, the answer. So, there we go. Have Beatrice from V0. There we go. Let's see. So, one, two, three. Oh, this is the wrong, no, that's the wrong one, I think. This is, this is a beginner. Yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, wrong image. Wrong image, guys. My bad. Because there's two images in this one, and I guess I got the wrong one. It's supposed to be C, no, S, C, A, D, 3, not C, S, no, not S, C, A, 3. It has to be day 3. So, damn. This is not going well. Freak. I said, I said, freak, so it, it, it's family friendly. I'm not going to get taken down by YouTube, hopefully. Open, come on, day three. Okay, try this again real quickly. Alright. Hey, well. Good thing I caught that before I started it. Yeah, cause I, I noticed the 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 instructions were a bit weird. I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to give us more information. Okay, that is the struggle with live stream, I guess, cause uh, you know, you just. There's some kind of difficulty sometimes, so like, yeah. Are there only one person watching? Is that you, Oscar? You're the only person watching. If you are, I appreciate it. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Alright. Or even if no one's watching, it's fine. I still have to make. I still have to do this, and I still have to post it. All right, uh, this guy. Okay, now. Alright, so that is better. You can see we have Firefox. That's way better. Uh, don't mind it. Later. We'll start later. Alright, instruction. So this time, okay, this one. This one is the one. Alright. we start later. Don't worry. Alright, there we go. More information. I knew it. So let's go read, read, read this one. Way better one. Opened up many of them, I accident. Alright, there we go. So... Oh wait, did I do I still have the I do have her it yep there we go. There we go. Okay. So IT staff this is read the readme. So IT staff, please prepare this computer for corporate use. Remove any non work related software and data. Have all new users change their password when they log on for the first time and prevent the guests from logging in. Uh for users. All users should be uh, all users will use that. Everything they got confused, so like use the password type Patriot. So I'll copy that for further reasons. Copy that, and password should be changed at first login. Okay. So administrator, for administrator, said password do not expire, but have the account active for elevation. Okay, so don't disable it. Uh, GFA and GA. So set these as users. 
So these are, I guess, your users. So Samsung programmers will need more rights than those users, GFA and GA, because they will be working on the backups for the system. So I'm guessing admin or put them in the backup group, because I believe there's a, a group known as backups. Gummy bears and bachelorettes will be working remotely on a project using the computer, so give them remote access, remote access basically. So I'm guessing put them in the group group for a remote remote uh, desktop or remote access. I don't remember what it's called. So um, anyways, in order to keep the computer secure from recent attacks and ensure future security, close any unnecessary ports, stop any unnecessary services, and make sure the system is up to date. Uh, and root out any suspicious, not in Linux, but just uh, get rid of any uh, suspicious software on the system, rename the administrator as our Patreon, and rename the guest account to the most privileged user on the system. So, administrator, I'm guessing. I require users to press Control and Delete to log in. Don't display the last user who's logged in. If the computer was accidentally turned on, um, the, a user must log in to turn it off. Only allow the users you currently have to log in locally, so no one should be able to remotely log in. Only administrators should be able to do things such as change time, uh, which is good because if you didn't know, applications tend to break if you change the time. Uh, guests should be blocked from logging in. We don't want, and we want, we want the computer to keep track of who is logged in and when they try to gain administrator rights. All right, so that's a lot, it's quite a little bit, but that means we have a lot of stuff to do, and most of the stuff, all, most of all, we already know what to do. So let's first start. I'm gonna for this for this image. I'm gonna use for reference this, the cat, the vulnerability category summary. So for this. So the first thing we're gonna do is account policies, which is password policies, lockout policies, and etc. So we're gonna do that right now. So <clears throat> how to get there? Uh, so just right click over here to the the start icon. Just right click. Man, Windows Seven is not cool. So if Windows Ten you already saw, I just right clicked and then clicked um. Just right click here and then click uh, computer management and then. It takes me to oh and this is users. My bad, no wrong one, wrong wrong thing. I'm just that's that's for users, not account policies. Uh, okay, so for account policies on Windows, what you want to do is on your keyboard do Win Windows icon plus R to pull up the run window. I'm pretty sure some of you are familiar with this, and you're gonna type in sec pol dot m dot m c s or MCS. Yeah, let's try. Let's see if I type that right. And that should open up the security policy uh, application. Or there's another way, uh, which I find it more kind of better because it has all the all the tools you need for securing the machine all in one place. So if you look. Up in programs. Oh man, it's okay. It's a bit slow. If you look, if you go to the search bar for your Windows machine, and if you type in administrative tools or admin or admin whatever, all right. So <clears throat> this is very useful. It, it has all the shortcuts to all the stuff you you're gonna need for the uh, for the Windows image. So for example, we okay. So this is from the Windows the shortcut we did. So I can just open that here as well. Uh, it should be right over. Yeah, a local security policy. And then you see stuff like services, task scheduler, firewall, uh, events, computer management, etc. All right, so now we're here. Let's go ahead and do account map policies. So, coincidentally enough, we ha we have a a win an option here known as account policies. So let's go click that. Then we go here and we see account policy. Click that, and then here's where we start configuring. So first things first, we enforce password history. We want to set that to five, so it remembers the last five passwords uh, that you've uh, used for your account. This is the site Patriot standard. Set minimum pass maximum password age to um, ninety, and then set the minimum password age to thirty. Okay, so standards for uh, 
Is that Patriot? Or no, it should be um uh fourteen, I believe. Yeah, I believe it should be fourteen. Minimum length should be one through eight, so I'll put seven. Because you know that's what they put Linux. Uh next setting, password must be complexity requirements. Enable that, because yes, they it basically means that they all have to be complex and unique. And the last one, you want to make sure it's disabled. Store passwords using reversible encryption. So make sure it's disabled, meaning that you know if a hacker gets access to your password files, they can't there aren't, you know. Uh, easy to decrypt and get. So that's, that's now we're done with password policies. Now we're getting we're getting into account lockout policies. So uh, if you try clicking these, if you notice, you can't really set them up. Uh, you can't because you have to set the middle one first. Account lockout threshold. And for this one, what you want to do is uh, put in five here as well, and then it'll automatically set up the other two for thirty minutes. So after five in invalid uh, password in attempts it'll it'll lock you up 30 minutes local policies is where we get into the real advanced stuff so audit policy so these are the things that are gonna audit your system and keep long everything that happens my recommendation I mean it's just my opinion I'm not a Windows person but when I've done Windows images what I want what I do is usually have fail and six failure and success uh, checked out and applied because you don't know which one will give you points, so I just do it for all of them. Uh, in a real world ten, uh, standard, you wouldn't do this because this, this would create too this would create too many logs uh, when you're at when the, for the person reviewing them. This creates too much too much data, you know, uh, and too much work, you know. But for this instance, just do both to see which one give you points. So audit failure. System events. Boom. All right. Now we're done with audit policy. Now time for a user rights assignment. This one's a more advanced stuff. So this one we for this uh, instance we can also refer to our uh, instructions or you know readme. So one thing I note I believe I took a notice is that here it says only administrators should be able to do things such as change the time. Uh, and that's actually here. You can actually do that, and also to make sure our, our, our users are log are be able to log in lo locally. Uh, yeah, here it is. Only the users you currently have can log in locally. So you can, if you can see, you can do that. You can, uh, you have that here. So allow login locally. Uh, can I put all? I doubt it, but no, I can't. Uh, this should this looks fine. Uh, we have users, guests, and everyone here. So I'll leave that now for now. I believe the locally setting is in security options. But for the time, the change of time is here. So change system time. Yeah, Only admins. Yeah, please, please. And then time zone should be the same thing. So move local server and then users. Apply. Uh, anything else should be here? Deny logon as the batch job. Uh, which counts are prevented from using Uh, I'm not sure, but I feel like this probably might give you points if you did that. Deny logon as batch. What else? What else should be? Shut down. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, and also. Shut down the system. Uh, uh no actually that's fine. Basically I believe who gets whoever's logged in locally can turn off the computer. All right that should be it for now. I guess part of the opposite. I again uh, that should be it for now I think. But we'll come back to this. All right next one is security options. So this one we do a lot of of uh, configuration. So here administrative account status. First one, disable that. Guest account should also be disabled because that's just unnecessary information you give. Limit uh, local account user blank password to constant logon. Name, make sure that's enabled. And I believe it's this one that told us to rename it. Ah oh, yes. Uh, rename the administrator. Uh, sorry, patriot. Oh, okay. Sorry, patriot.
so I, I I should have also mentioned this. So what we're for this part, this section right here, local policies. This refers to the category over here, local policies, to what the points for. So I did audit user. So I'm in security options. I'm also I'm just gonna go. I'm also gonna afterwards. I'm gonna go back to account policies because there's one more thing we have to set right there, which are the passwords actually. Oh, my bad. Okay, so <clears throat> rename it to say Patriot. Uh, in competition, you want to rename it to something similar like this, or some something. It doesn't matter. Just it has. It can be do. It can be whatever. But usually, you want to rename this, and this. Uh, you want to rename what I told us to rename as the most privileged user here. So that would be the admin, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's going to block it real quick. Okay, administrator, my bad. It's supposed to be administrator. Back here. Administrate. Admin is straight tour. Oh, misspelled it again. Rator. Okay, there we go. Uh, the reason they want this because uh, if a hacker tried to go into the account, and obviously they try to find the, the guy with the most access, right? The most privileged uh, permissions. And if you remain, and this is a good way to trick trick them, because they'll see the administrator and believe this is the the admin, the real admin. But they'll say no. But when they get into this one. Uh, it's a guest account. They don't have barely any any anything remotely similar to admin privilege. So audit global use? No, not really. Not, not really. But if you want, you could. Uh, terminate. No, you don't have to do. Not not this one. So do that disabled. Do that disabled. Uh, force audit policy subcategory. Uh, da, 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 da. no, just leave that. I'm just going go straight to the ones that give you points. So, <clears throat> allow the two format and jacket removal media. Uh, secure send the permits who is allowed to format and remove objected. So, what are the options? So, administrators, you know. That means probably only we would do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that. So, Let's see. Per, per restrict CD dash ROM access to log, uh, log in. Yes, enable that. Because again, I like talked earlier about my story, how I managed to break into a computer. Or well, obviously, I had permission because it was it was a it was a, a an old computer uh, that someone gave us, and, uh, and that's how I was able to do it with just a flash drive. Uh, allow op server operators to schedule tasks. Uh, you could, yes, why not? Why not? And then with that. Wait. You can, yeah, I'll enable it just, just, cut, just in case. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Uh, refuse machine account password. Uh, disable. No, yeah, it's enable. No. Disable, yeah. So we want to. I'm guessing is that we want to make sure we want to make sure that there's account pass changes for the machine machine accounts. Uh, what else is here? Uh, floppy floppy access to local law restrict floppy access. So enable that as well. Um, let's go straight straight to it. No one's giving points. Display uh, user information when session is locked. Do not display user information. Apply. Do not display the last username. Enable that. Uh, do not require control or delete. Disable that, which means negative to negative to positive. So it's say it'll, it's basically saying it requires this. Uh, already done this. Smart card, no, because we don't have smart cards. Uh, sharing. Do not store. 
Uh, Lana Hedge Foundation. Yeah, enable that. Nope, Nerd Security. No, I'll leave this. Let's see, we do not lost storage password. Oh, yeah, enable this. So basically, I believe it says it won't store any Wi Fi passwords. Uh, shut down. Oh, this one. Uh, you want I don't want to name with this because basically what this means is because what a page file is for Windows I believe is basically the equivalent of what RAM does. RAM stores if you didn't know RAM stores information about your uh, computer, uh, and then when you turn the computer it completely wipes out. Except this no isn't known as memory page file. So if someone's smart enough and they can access this, they could actually yeah. Let's say you change your password, you logged in, they could go through this file and basically get sensitive data out of it. So we want to make sure this is enabled so it completely wipes out. I shut down. Oh, uh, this is allow copy, uh, copy next to our drive folders. No, uh, no, disable. I'm leave that disable. I'm gonna leave that disable by default. Oh, here's, here's, another, here's another one that gives you points probably. Our system is to be shut down without having to log on and disable. So this refers to, you have to be logged on for it to, you to shut down, shut down, actually. And then yes, I believe that is that is it for now. Let me just double check. Force system login, force system, where was it, where was that one I just saw? The force system, force... Oh, let me review, let me get rid of the Beatrice, the anime. So, so allow system to be shut down without having to log on. Uh, no, you enable this, uh, uh supposedly, uh, uh, allow system to be shut down without having to log on. No, you, no, you disable this, yeah. If I'm right. No, yeah, disable this. Make sure to disable. My bad, my bad. For being confused. And, yeah, that's it for now. That's all we, we can do. That's, I think that's it. That's all for uh, local local policies and account policies. Well, except one more thing that's left for account policies. Oh. My bad. Close. Close, okay. So, I want this now. So, uh, next thing you do, want to do is um, go to computer management and set up and do some user auditing since, you know, we're kind of in the, we're messing with users' uh, stuff, might as well, you know, finish account uh, policies for the passwords and then make sure we do some, and then do some user auditing in the meantime. So, go to computer management through, you know, the folder here I recommend using. And then you go to u local users and groups. Uh, groups, you can do the group groups or users. Uh, I'm gonna go user real quick. And as you can see, I, can, I only have one, two, three users. So that being my def my admin, default admin, default guest. And that's me. Let's go back to my my um, instruction. So since it referred to these having these users, I'm guessing we have to we have to include these, we have to add these users to the system. GFA and GA real quick. So right click new user. GA password gave us a password right here. Hi, Patriot. Oops. And then user must change password next login. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's what it asks for in the reading. So create. Okay, there he is. New user, do it again. Uh, G, G, F, A. Password. Password. Okay, another one. Samsung. Man, I'm, I, I, I'm probably going to finish to like seven, six, I think. Completely. Go with Linux and... I might have to do Linux uh, after a dinner, sadly. So I'm gonna try my best finishes. Okay, so Samsung. 
at him. Programmers, program, programmers. I'm basing a few programmers. Password that. Gummy bears. Do you have any questions in chat at all? Okay, I'm looking. Oh, oh, Ram. Ram, what about Ram? Oh, yeah, good point. I will put Ram. Again, the chat. The, there's some. Again, it's kind of slow before I like, kind of see uh, the chat a little bit. So, let's see. Good point. You're good. You have a very good point. Remove. Yes, remove. Shadow Ram. <laughs> I do not have good pictures of RAM here. What? That's the sin right there. Come on. RAM? Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, mini mini mini. Uh, oh, what the heck? Um, I want to sideways. Okay, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, All right, I go back to my thing. Browse. There she is. There she is. I've contained the rim. Put that back. I'll leave that when I need it. Anyways, back to this. So, uh, we have gummy bears, GFE programmers, uh, bachelor lens is our last one. So, new user, batch, L. Let me get my charger actually real quick. It's about to die. Okay, let me get my charger real quick. Be back. Okay, be back. I don't remember what no. Might as well have rim right there. I'm looking for my charger. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh. Online bar bars. Da 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 na 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 na. Okay. 
Can I charge her now? Let me use him back. Let me look at the chat. I know, actually, let me look at the chat real quick. Anything going in the chat? Ram? What about Ram? No, heart emoji. Yes. Yes. Can I, can I do anything with this? Pin? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> right, anyways, back to this real quick. Alright, so now we set up our users. And we already have the password, well, except us probably. Set password. No. Right click properties. Uh, no, yeah. Set password. Proceed. Okay, maybe I won't. Cause I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. Cause I'm not very familiar with Windows about that. But I'm pretty sure this should be fine. I think. But I guess I'll leave it. So <clears throat> now that we've done that. So what I do is uh first of all. Since it doesn't give me an a list of authorized users, it just tells me, oh, and he says users get rid of them. So, okay. There aren't really any. So, the only thing I might as well do is. Okay, I just noticed something very, very diff weird. So, if I went to, I just went to the guest account, and I realized, I just saw that the admin, the real admin, is in the guest account. So, I'm just gonna remove him really quickly. That's not right. Gotta remove the admin from the guest account because then he's not really an admin. There he is. So I guess let's begin real quick. So set GSNX users, Samsung and programmers need more rights. They'll be working on. Okay, so if you, if you didn't know, there is a group here known as backup operators. So you want to do is do that for Samsung and programmers because that's what they ask us for. So Samsung and Programmers apply and then okay. Then the next one said gummy bears and batteries will be working re remotely, so they have to be part of the remote desktop user group, obviously. So you go ahead and put gummy bears and then batch Elor Ets. I mistyped it. Bachelor X. Did I not type his name right? Or when I created it, Bachelor. Oh, there we go. There we go. Apply. Okay. And then I might as well go ahead and check my scoring report. You know, gotta make sure if all this hard work, how many points. And look at that. Oh, shoot. 58 one of bleeds. Oh, God. I should have gone with the beginners, but I didn't have much stuff in the beginners. Oh god. Okay, I'm trying I'm doing my best to finish this as soon as possible. Uh okay. Mm. Alright, so we got nineteen to fifty of vulnerabilities, meaning we have about thirty nine left. <sighs> okay, don't worry guys, we'll we'll do this. Okay, we have more coming in. Alright, so I don't think I can finish in time, to be honest. I'll go over everything I can. Not really advanced stuff, but I don't think I can finish it in time. It's too much. And I'll have to do win Linux, and I have to review my Cisco for tomorrow, so I don't think I have time, guys. So, sorry. If that's a bit of a disappointment. I'm disappointing myself as well. So, anyways. I just hurry up and keep going. Alright. Uh... Uh, alright, so thing, um, one thing I noticed, <laughs> hey, <wait. laughs> admin over here told me to set path to next fire, so I put that, I'll do that right now, so account management, computer management, I mean, users, admin, I'll put, I'll, ch I'll uncheck this, the one that said before, that user might change password lock login, and put password never expires, and what does it say, it said, have the account, oh, active, so I need to, I'd un undisable that. So, have them there. Boom. So now we just went over... That was from our category. User auditing. So we went to check 
well, we didn't know who's authorized, but we did set up the authorized users to add. Make sure the groups are correct that it told us to do it for the business. And then we've done account policies. And yeah, there's no friends question in this one, though, so that's fine. And then we've already done most of the local policies, if, if all on the image. Next thing we're going to do, I believe, is what we should do is. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna skip this step because it's taking long. But I'll show you how to do it anyways. Um, next thing I'll do next is violation policy violations. Real quick. So okay, I'll do that. Oh no, this one I'm skipping. This one I'll do. So next I'm gonna do is policy violation since that seems like the most like thing. So <clears throat> the first thing I would do. Is go to file manager and first check your user to check if you have anything here. So documents, music. Oh, I do have some music. We don't want. To. Well, I'm gonna delete that. Pictures, videos. You know, go deep into them. See if they're. All right. But music, delete these. Okay. Go ahead and delete those. Right click, delete. Boom. And then more further I can go is. If I go if I go to your com computer, the C colon, which is the start of your of the file system. Go to users. Refresh. There should be users here. Or no, maybe there isn't. I uh, must be talking about a different image where uh there's stuff. Let me just check again really quickly. Ram go. Am I missing anything else from there? Okay, there's that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. I was going on with chat, let's see chat. Dude, I think it's just me, lol. Bro, oh, eh, it's, it's fine. If it's just you, Victor, uh, honestly. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna upload this anyway. It's just for everyone else. If they want to see it, so it's fine. Alright, so, uh... What's it called, uh... So, uh, for Windows, from my knowledge, of Windows, so an often place I like to place any uh, viruses or any any sort of a hidden uh, uh, malware or like photos or anything really into policy violations that you don't want to have in your computer is usually here the start of the file system for Windows and sometimes it's hidden in either program files And I was right. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's something known as virus.bat1148. So obviously it's a virus. So let's go remove that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I, I just found a hidden virus right there. And also, if you want, this can also reference this place as where what application you installed on your system. So I can tell I have Microsoft Games, Notepad Plus, Team Viewer, Remote Desktop Application, Mario Game. So. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. This is all right. Scoring report. Windows. There's another place you can check, but there's a lot of stuff. So often, maybe there isn't. Okay. Well, anyways. <clears throat> and anywhere else I can see that there's, there might be anything else. Public. Let's do period. Me everything. No, nothing here. All right. Just checking if there is anything here. Don't the last place I could check for users is the default place. So I'll just put a period to list all all the files here. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh. Nope. Everything's fine. Oh, sure, I forgot. Downloads. Make sure you have downloads and there is something that was bad stuff, huh? Delete that. And that should be it. I 
Let's move forward. Yeah, alright. Okay, I'll move on. I'll remove this just in case. So, we went over malware, I guess. Some malware media files. And. Uh, I guess also my most I have if no one's if Victor if you're the only one and this kind of doesn't apply to you you're free to also go and come back later. I'm just I'm just doing this so I can post later of future competitions. Okay, so we already we've just done malware. Some some more malware we we already we found a virus we removed that so we have point we got points because it falls to that category. Then we have we did private files like uh, media files. We haven't found any. Any like pass any file like these passwords that's fine. Next next two I'm gonna, next one I'm gonna do is unwanted software, which is pretty easy. It just means we have to uninstall stuff we don't need, and then our uh, hacking tools stuff like that. So to do that usually uh, when you go to the Windows sign right here, just look up program program. Uh, and then it should be something known as uh, add or move programs. Well, is it this one or is it the other one? Yeah, this. Usually, this pop, pops up. Or you can go in and over here in Win Windows 10. You can just right click here. Or, yeah. Right click here. And then click. No, no, not here. Do control panel. So you you won't go to control panel and you would go uh, to all control panel items and then you would or just go to control panel and then programs programs and features and then here you see all the programs on the machine so let's go straight into it so I can see a game right there so make, reminder we want to make sure we delete all games and the hacking tools and unnecessary services and applications so. Yeah, 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 go, go cry about being deleted. Uh, Mario, to Mario Forever, uninstall that, please. Wake up on LAN. This is kind of a, a reconnaissance hacking tool, so move that. Basically scans your network and all that. And also remote desktop. Yes, thank you. When SCP, uh, transfer files. So it's an application used to transfer files on computers. We don't need that. It's not gross frivolous. Remove that. Uh, Adobe Flash Player. Yeah. Again, this isn't a critical service. We don't need it. Yes, clean data. All. Okay. Uh, no, let's do show later. Uninstall Adobe. Uninstall. Chris, please. Okay, and then there'll be reader. And the last one we want to delete is Team Viewer 10 because that is a remote desktop protocol common to run when those machines. It's 5.03. I will have to probably get off at 5.15 ish to go eat dinner. Come on, delete, delete, come on. Alright. I looked in the mirror. Okay, so I guess if you if there's something like this happens like you're waiting, don't don't do that. Do something else in the meantime. You don't want to waste time. Which is why I'm gonna go to this app right afterwards. Okay, there it finally uninstalled. And then uninstall oh, Team Viewer. Yes, uninstall everything. Alright, that should be it. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But don't don't cry about it. Uh, let me refresh this might as well. Hey, 28 to 58. We have 30 more vulnerabilities. Right, yeah, this is a this is a really big image. So I'm not gonna go over the whole thing. And then I don't know if you want to remove this. Yeah, you know why not? I don't need this. It's still uninstalling. Okay. We don't need no plus plus plus. 
It's, well, if you don't know what Notepad++, you might see that type, type page here that uses it. It's basically Notepad, but for pro programmers. That's what it is. Sometimes you need it. It will tell you, oh, we need it. Not as a critical service, but like as an application they want. Or not. You know, just uninstall it. We don't need it. It's unnecessary. And then 7-zip. Uh, it's not really bad, but you don't really need it. So, you know, why not? It's uninstall it. And you don't know, maybe it could be a fake application. Maybe it's not something zip. Well, whatever. Alright, once you've un uninstalled any hacking tools or games and unnecessary programs, next thing you want to do Windows is go Windows Features to on or off. And this is where you want to make sure you turn off a certain features. So, games, one of them. Uh, Windows X Explorer, sometimes yes, but sometimes they ask you to say page where they want it, so I'll leave that there. Media Features. I'll remove this that's fine I don't want media uh, transfers uh, no we don't want this it's it telling me the screen right there computers and transfers the differences between two objects okay yeah wait no oh computes and transfer difference between two objects uh, no actually I'll leave that I don't I don't know exactly where that is um, I'll leave that I'll leave that. Yeah, it seems like one really mess with a lot. But in competition, I would say you want to remove is the rip. You want to make sure you remove rip listener. Oh, I didn't see this. Yeah, print and document services. You want to get rid of that. Right? I believe, right? Oh, it's only one break if I do that, right? Right, 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 right. Uh, I think it will. Okay, yeah, it will. Uh, but I would usually in competition. I won't do it because I know it'll break it. So I'll leave it. But you'd want to remove this. Rip listener. Uh, telnet. Server and client. TFTP unless it's the critical service. Games and all that. Offers okay. I'll let that go. Okay, so, uh... Next thing I'm going to do is firewall so if we go back to my admin create tools and I go to firewall with advanced security oh, actually it's not, it's not why you enable it, you enable it in control panel control panel And go to system security, and here you is another place where you would do a lot of security stuff. So uh, let's go to Action Center actually before we go to the firewall. And let's do that. So update that update. Now I want to update because I know it won't give you points, but I I would. Uh, turn that on. Yeah, turn on firewall. You know what? Yeah, whatever. Might as well. I'm not gonna not gonna scan because that takes a while. Change settings for Windows Update. Yes, change install updates automatically. Thank you. And then change UAC user account control. You want to do that and put that all at top. And basically, is that one message that pops up every time when you saw it. like this, this image, this one. So how strict do you want that message to pop up? So put that all the way up. And usually, there's sometimes extra stuff they they let you do here. All right, so I'm done here. Firewall. Let me go do firewall. So, turn fire off, on or on. So, yes. Yeah, I'm ending it in six minutes, and then I'll come back with Linux. Okay, so firewall. So, turn on firewall. Private, we leave like that. But on publicly, you want to block all connections. So make sure it's on. Alright, that's fine. And then, notification settings. Block. For uh, public, and yeah, that should be it. Next part is sure later for that. Uh, what's it called? Next thing we want to do is go to the advanced security thing from what's it called from the administrative tools folder, and then from here you want to set up some rules. So if you don't, so a bit of uh, stuff. If you don't know what inbound and outbound is, outbound is anything that goes 
out of your computer, and then inbound is coming is whatever goes in your computer. So just go anything going in doesn't really means anything going out. So anything coming out of your computer, anything coming in your computer. So what I want to do is mostly focus on the inbound. So I'm I'm focusing on whatever gets into my computer, mostly. So what I want to do is do some basic rules here, and uh, and block some basic ports, some common hacking ports, and some common, yeah, hacked ports basically, and programs. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go from events far here. Click inbound rules and then click new rule. Click port. Click next. Then put all the ports you want to delete. So I'm gonna put this one. So telnet, no, actually FTP, so 20, 21, comma, 23, telnet, 25, FTP, I believe, uh, 110, 111, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Uh, 10 1 1 0. Now, make sure I'm missing any for my. Okay. Scott. There we go. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me check that again. Wait, what? No, it's not right. Uh, don't. Uh, uh, okay, well that's wrong because Tony is port, tw port 22. 25 I believe is uh, port 25 should be oops no, port 25 Could SMTP, yeah, SMTP I don't know why it says F uh, SSH it's SMTP alright, so once I got a list of all common ports just go next Block the connection next. All the domains next. The names. Common hack ports. And that's it. You can also go over here and inbound. You can also check some stuff like here. Like, oh, there's still a team viewer. Uh, remove that. These rules. Disable. Disable. To see because TeamViewer is an application for remote desktop, we don't want that. Screen sharing, SMB, no, disable, we don't want file printing, disable rule. Anything going out of the computer, sometimes you want this. Because uh, sometimes also, you don't know, you might have a back door and it might be connected to some remote computer. So it's also good to check here your firewall if anything's going out of your computer. Co installer 1, 2, 2, oh shoot, no. Uh, one two two one eight three three. Okay, that seems pretty sus. And it seems to be here. What is this? So what is it? What was it? Pro installer. Come on. Pro. Let's just like. I'm just gonna say oh, that sounds like pretty sus. Unless it might be some necessary tool. Oh, well, I have no. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it for now, but it kind of seems sus, not gonna lie. Everyone does how I'll leave it because there are people using remote desktop. Alright, and then what else? What else are you asking? Well, last thing I'm gonna be able to do, I'm leaving for now. Services. So, services are another thing that gives you points. These revol the, the. Well, we. I forgot to mention, I guess. So, we've done this. We've done defensive countermeasures. Well, except the antivirus, because I need to install one and I'll have time for that. Uh, application updates. So I'm guessing I just need to update Firefox. Uh, OS, just update the OS. Just left. This, we don't have any curl services or anything like that, so we don't really do this. Not even the Firefox, because it's an old image, so it doesn't count. Uh, then we have, an, an category, we have remote access we can do. But anything else we were missing is. um. Services, just server auditing. Service auditing. So, if you go through your services on Windows, some common stuff you want to look for. I'm going to go look through here. So, fax. Here, I found one. Fax, which is basically, you know, um, I'm sure that's disabled. Oops, disabled. Apply. 
Because fax is just, isn't an, it's just a printing th uh, print server thing. We don't need that. Who uses fax anyways? So make sure that's disabled. And then, and then let's use IP helper. You can, they also give you, I believe, a subscription to write center using v 6 I'll leave that for now. Though I believe this one you disable. Right? Let me check my answers real quick. Uh, Oop, rem. Okay. 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 Okay, I got, I got an idea what to do now. Which one is the correct one? So, yeah, I was right. You want to remove this. Even though it sounds like, alright, we don't need this. So, stop it. 